Time is running out for parents to enroll their child into a free VPK program. You have until the end of the month to sign up your four or five year old. Sonia McSwain is with Duval County Public Schools, the Office of School Choice, and is joining us via Zoom this morning to explain the requirements. Good morning. Good morning. Would you just remind our viewers what VPK is? VPK is a state funded program that provides families with the opportunity to get their students into school a year early to get those early readiness skills needed for success in kindergarten. And who is eligible? I mean, do you have to, is it a needs based type of program? No, ma'am. Any family is eligible to participate as long as the student is four years of age by September 1st of this year. And how can a parent or a guardian apply before they enroll? In order to apply, the families need to create a student number and a parent account, and that information can be found on the district's website. Once we receive their two proofs of residency, we'll place an application in their parent portal and give them an opportunity to select the schools in which they're interested in applying. And about the schools, can, you know, oftentimes for parents, just if there's a, an issue with transportation, they want to pick the closest school to them. Do all schools participate, only a select few? And do all local elementary schools offer v VPK programs? Not all of our elementary schools actually have space enough for us to offer the opportunity, but we do have the opportunity available in 56 of our elementary schools across the county. Great. So chances are a school in in someone's neighborhood could very likely offer this VPK program, which would be free for at least the first couple of hours. Absolutely. And, and I want to remind our viewers as well. Sometimes you think that this means that the child can go to school all day for free. That's not the case. In some of our schools, it is the case, but we do have a few programs that are in what we call non title one schools where families, if they'd like the children to stay until three o'clock, would have to pay a fee of three hundred dollars a month. In our Title I schools, the program is all day at no cost to families. Because this is a process, obviously, that begins with the application deadline, which is at the end of the month, then ultimately to go and enroll your child, there are a number of things that you need to have, so you need to maybe start thinking about that now. Would you explain what will be required of parents to submit to enroll their child? Absolutely. The first step, we encourage parents to visit the Early Learning Coalition's website, which is www.elcduval.org to apply for the certificate of eligibility. Families will also need to provide us with proof of age, two proofs of address, and a current health and immunization form that's placed on the state of Florida exam form. Yeah, which is why, Sonia, you know, I'm sure when it comes to young kids, you need to make those appointments fairly soon because getting the kids in for that yearly so that you can get that immunization record can take some time. Sonia, thanks for your for the information this morning. So important and such a great resource that's available to our local families here for free. Appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.